Hi, this is Eric from Cafe Watercolors. So I last minute decided to do a live stream because I really miss painting and I thought what better way to kind of force myself to do it when I just hit that live button. So now I have no turning back. I need to get started. So if you happen to be here, welcome. But anyways, I will be going to do a very, hopefully a pretty quick sketch. Hi Kay, it's amazing you're actually showing somebody actually here. Because this live stream has no announcement at all, so I'm actually surprised there are people joining me. So anyways, I am going to just get started. Brisbane, Australia, wonderful, all right. So let's just get started. So this is downtown Seattle. I snapped this photo on my way back from the ferry. I went to Victoria with my family for Christmas. So on the way back uh, during the red light, I take this quick photo. I saw this looking really cool. So I decided to use this for a reference for painting. So this is not a really big paper. So hopefully I can finish it as fast as possible. Okay, let's just get started. Hi from Vancouver. Hi, Terry. All right, so I think due to the composition, I'm going to keep the horizon a little bit lower this this time. And uh, to make things a little bit easier, I'm not going to do any figure for this one. And I'll say the vanishing point is somewhere around here. But the thing is that this street is there's a little bit of curve into it. So I'll have to probably have to fake a lot of stuff here. Um, I'll actually probably make the vanishing point here and let's just go from here. I will just start out by just blocking out some of the big shape here. Obviously the big skyscraper in the background here and that will be something that's going to be pretty important here and then there's this kind of building in construction i thought that was very very interesting looking so i am actually going to include that in i'll probably include that around here so so very very rough just a little bit scribbling right now. I'll probably adjust the size and the placement a little bit later. Okay. Here we have that. And uh, here we go. Oh, hi. Hi, Kay. Jasmine. Magdalene. Uh, Mag Magdalena, sorry, I'm bad with name. Welcome, you guys. Thank you for joining me in this very spontaneous live stream. So, if you watch this on recording, please don't be mad at me. Sometimes I just kind of decided to do a live stream out of the blue, and uh, I thought that it might be interesting. And I'll try to keep this one pretty casual, so because this more or less going to be like a quick sketch. So I'm not going to do too much detail. And this, the paper is a little bit too small to do that anyways. So there we go. So, we got, so this is our vanishing point. So everything should try to roughly follow that. Okay. Now, even though the street is curved, I want to somehow make it just a little bit simpler because a curved street will be, would just be a little bit more difficult to do. So I am not going to make it, make things too difficult for myself. I'll be just be doing that. Let's go straight down here like so. And I'll shrink this building down just a little bit. It's a little bit too big. The 
this building will have a slightly different perspective since the street is curved. So let's do this. Let's have all this building have another perspective here. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I'm just going to testing things around here. Okay. So like one building here and a couple buildings in here. So it's very rough and I don't really bother to make it very nice and clean looking. I really want to try to set myself loose and just do a very rough sketch. Hi from Japan. What time is it now? Is it afternoon? If so, konnichiwa. Okay. All right, so. Well, obviously this taxi, this yellow cab here is going to be very important for us. So I'm just gonna quick sketch here okay the the truck the body of the car the wheel you can barely see the wheel in the photo actually so i probably won't do much so i probably won't define the wheel as much in my painting as well and uh, and uh, here we have another car here okay okay that's our finishing point so let's make it just a little bit lower on the horizon not by much though because i took this photo in the car so the perspective is actually uh, a little bit different than when you are walking on the street. So the car is, a lot of cars are going to be around your eye level things. Uh, when you're driving, you're sitting down, unless you're on a really high car, like a minivan or, or a bus. Like even if you're on a minivan, the perspective is not going to be you know that that much different from that of when you're sitting okay and uh, we just have so this drawing is super rough i'm try i'm going to try not to rely too much on the drawing to do this painting Like I really try to pursue speed here, but I think I'm, I want to try to kind of challenge myself and make something just a little bit different because I'm usually a little bit more careful when it comes to drawing and painting. Happy New Year, Mena. But I think for this one, Maybe we can definitely try something a little bit different here. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna have like a street light here. So I just realized that somehow my reference photo on the screen is flipped. So if that gets you guys confused, I apologize. But I think this, that's pretty much it. OK, 
Okay. I am thinking though, I probably make this buildings here a little bit lower. So just to open up the sky just a little bit more. So I will do that and uh, I'll just erase the sky here. I will just erase those lines here. Right. Okay. This thing is, this is good enough. This is as, as much as I'm going to do the drawing. All right, let's start our painting. Um, the only difference I can really think of when it comes to drawing with just regular pencil and mechanical pencil is I don't need to sharpen when I'm doing using mechanical pencil and that's probably the only reason why I use mechanical pencil because I don't want to sharpen in the middle of the drawing so that's pretty much why I am using a 4B lead though so I know it's a little bit harder to come by when it when it comes to 4B lead in in the US I bought it from Amazon though. I believe it is is actually from Japan though. So so for the sky, I'm just going to just rub it in. Just rub it in here. Okay. And maybe as we come down, we start to add a little bit of warmth to it. Not by much though, just a little bit. Here. I'm really trying to work fast for this one, so you know, a lot of the action I'm not going to explain too much what I'm doing, but you know, hopefully it's still going to be fun to watch. So this is very, very warm. Well, I think this is actually going to be fine. So here we go. Okay, so... Down here and around the horizon, we will try to skip around a little bit. I'll grab a smaller brush. I'm gonna try to see if I can be a little bit bolder. I'm gonna add some orange here. And uh, let's, sort of randomly leave some highlights here and there. This car on the right can paint into the windshield. That should be fine. I mean, if you if you look at the photo, it is actually pretty warm because all of the the light and the stuff that's in there. So, so I'll try not to be afraid and try to try to go for it. Hello. Hi Yash, hi Chad. Okay, so go. I'm just gonna continue it down. And I just grab my big brush and finish it up. this out a little bit. There we go. So fast and furious. Like this is really like a last minute thing. I just like, I really want to paint tonight. I really want to paint like a quick scenery tonight, but I'm actually feeling quite tired right now. 
So I decided to, to, to do this one, to do a, a rather simple scenery. And in the smaller paper, like this is small, like look at my hand, okay, it's like it covers like one fourth of the paper. So it's definitely not a huge pen, like a huge, um, it's definitely not a huge paper. So hopefully that will make things a little bit faster for me. Okay, so the first wash is is done. So I think I will have to wait for it to dry, but honestly, we don't have time for that. So I'll probably use some hair dryer. So let me grab my hair dryer real quick and I'll mute the microphone. So you don't need to hear that. Okay, that's trying enough. All right, so I will start with the background building here. Actually, should I? Okay, let me still take a little bit of moment to think about what I'm about to do here. All right. I'm just gonna let my intuition guide me this time, so. Pretend like I'm doing plein air. Pretend like I really don't have that much time. So just, just go for it. Okay, so the background building here. A little bit cool turquoise color. I'm gonna use a flat brush for that actually. To make things a little bit simpler for myself and also hopefully a little bit cleaner. Okay, side here is actually some reflection of the sky. So I'm gonna just Add a little bit of stuff here. Okay. And I'm just gonna use water and just soften this. So just kind of get rid of that. Soften that into the atmosphere. Okay. So let's see here. We can I think I'm gonna add a little bit of a little bit of fine details here. So maybe just a little bit something here. Some more of a neutral gray here, and I'm just gonna wet on too wet paint that in so the skyscraper is reflecting the surrounding because it's all glass so I'm gonna do that there and a little bit to the side and I'm actually gonna bring it over to the side here so so connect these two buildings okay Hi, Chrissy. Good to see you here. 
Okay, I wish I can do a Mandarin live stream right now, but I cannot speak both language at the same time. And people will get confused anyway, so I will do a Mandarin live stream in the future for sure. I actually just uploaded my fir very first Mandarin video and I got a lot of good feedbacks and a lot of people are enjoying it that a lot. So I will definitely do more of that in this coming year. And so hopefully, hopefully that will help more of you guys if your native language is Mandarin like me hopefully that will help okay i honestly not sure what i'm doing right now i'm just really just scribbling right now which brand of watercolor i use mostly daniel smith mostly flat brush so hopefully that will help me to make some more rigid mark like so oh actually I'm just gonna fill this all in for now I'll give them a little bit detail a little bit later okay so So I definitely need to, whoa, that's way too strong. But I definitely need to make it a lot darker as it approach the, approach this side. Yeah, but that neutral tint was just some fresh paint that I just squeezed in. So that was way too strong, it's super dark. And again, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. It's like, seriously, I'm just trying to go with my intuition and just hopefully things will work out because I actually don't know. But like I always said, if it doesn't work out, I'll just delete this video and uh, we let's just all pretend you guys didn't see anything. splash a little water on it so it doesn't look so stiff so I really just want to keep it very very simple just keep the big shape I don't have time to paint all that architectural detail anyways so definitely don't want to do that And I'm going to try my best to keep it within an hour if, if I can actually. Because most of the time when I'm doing live demo, it runs over like an hour and a half. So while I don't think there's anything wrong with that, I actually want to see if I can try to improve on that and make a faster painting. This paper is Baohong, it's actually a Chinese brand. So if you are not living in Asia, you can probably get it from, from AliExpress. So the paper is actually very cheap compared to a lot of other paper like Saunders and, and Arches. Let's give a little bit hint of perspective here, just like that. Have a little bit line kind of go down like, like so. Okay, so 
very loose. I'm just letting it loose this time. Um, watercolor I use is Daniel Smith. I already mentioned that. Uh, I actually don't know if you can't get it from Amazon because you don't live in the U.S. You probably need to ask your local art store because I have no idea where do they carry it. So sorry, I wish I can help you, but, but still, I I think. The very important thing is to try to use whatever you have there, like whatever that's easy for you to get. And different artists use different brand of paint and stuff. And I definitely don't think that using the same paint as I do is the only way. There's many other great brand of watercolors paint out there in the paper. So just a matter of you able to get that and able to make the most out of it. So, so a little bit of yellow here and see if, if I can actually get some color in there. Okay, a little bit of orange. Like I like this construction building quite a bit. I think it's, it's a pretty interesting shape there. So, so I slow down here on the top, give it a little bit of delicate detail, a little bit of line here and there. So there's a couple some white spot here just because of the lighting and the structure and I'm not able to get them all but I think if I can try to hint a little bit of that it can be it can still be pretty effective. So all right, something like this and I hope that will work. Drop a little bit of dark in here. I got a huge pile of dark here, so I'll probably make use of that later because because of that dreaded fresh squeeze um, neutral tint. All right. Okay, so yeah, we, we got a lot of uh, people who knows where to get that paper. So thank you guys for helping me out on that. Cause... Okay. See if I can make this work. Okay, so I don't use flat brush that much, but again, I'm trying to try new things as well. So hopefully this will, hopefully this will turn out pretty decent. So this is still kind of wet. So whatever I put down here, it will just kind of merge it in. I'm actually going to add a little bit of water here. I should clean water here and just let the building kind of loose as it comes to the bottom here. Okay. Okay. Now I'm about 
paint into the car right here. We got a situation here. This building is the color is like beige, but um, if you want to create some depths, we actually can't keep it that white, otherwise, it's gonna throw people off. So Darker here. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna keep this part dark, and uh, the rest of it I'll just let it do something like this. soft detail little hints of windows or something I'm putting like a dry quite of a dry mixture here and just use the tip of my brush very lightly just kind of drop the pigment in and um, hopefully this will give the sense of, of uh, some architectural details here little bit of directional line here. Okay. And uh, when we approach to the bottom here and just gonna try to finish this shape right here like so but I actually quite like there's this hidden light down here I'm actually trying to see if I'm being I'm actually able to sort of paint that in here so I'm gonna add a little bit of orange and, and yellow color here See if I can bring some light into it. A little bit light here, some there. Okay. All right, so. Let me, I'm just going to go ahead and start working on the car. I am actually not going to worry about the background as much right now. So, our, so I'll start with our taxi here. So. Grab a little bit of cadmium yellow and use that as the highlight instead of just leaving it white. And 
gets a little bit more orange as we come down here. Actually, I see I'm gonna start to give it some deep dark here. Yeah, just to try to make things a little bit darker here. And the reason I want to do that is actually because I want the tail light to be able to pop out a little bit more. And if you look at the photo, the tail light is actually very bright. And it's probably not possible for me to get the same effect just because the, you know, the paint itself is not going to emit any sort of light. Let me see if I can try to compensate that by darkening the things around it. So, so here we go. Okay, so sort of like an orange red color here. At the same time, we're just going to darken this dark down here. I think I'm just going to go ahead and start to do the color of the road here as well. Be careful not to paint into that because I do want a little bit of separation here. But down here, I would just let it flow down like that. This, that part, I don't really have to be afraid of that too much. Okay, and this, I can get that in there and I'll paint this in here. Like I said, very rough painting. Yeah, that's the fun part about watercolor, just to let it flow, right? Let the watercolor do that work for you. Okay, I'm actually gonna see if I can get a little bit of directional line going on here. Uh, so, Perhaps here. Okay, I will spray a little bit of water. And I'm gonna try to darken this as much as I possibly can while it is still wet, so. And I actually do plan to have it become sort of a wet street instead of just like this overcast day. So whatever, I'm just gonna do the reflection right now. dark down here and I'm actually gonna see if I can grab a little bit of yellow and just put that in there. It looks kind of dirty right now. But I don't know. I'll just keep it dirty or whatever. I can always come back to it a little bit later. Okay. Now 
onto that windshield. So I do want a little bit of sophistication here. So I'm going to paint a little bit of, should I say, reflection on the windshield. So it's reflecting the buildings around it. And that's why when you see car driving by, you see the reflection kind of warping around, which is really interesting. Just want to say this to myself like what a dirty looking painting <laughs> i rarely decide i rarely do something like this that's just like really just let go of the control and just go crazy on things i wonder if i am able to kind of scratch that out no it's not dry enough I do think I can probably disturb this a little bit. What should I do? Maybe I'll just do it like a horizontal line here and another one here. I'll lose this, but squeeze out the moisture like that, okay? And break that. Another one here, break that. So just kind of get rid of that consistent wash. Now it feels like there's some texture on the row. How magical is that? Okay. Now. Actually, it turns out not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to paint this car right here. And this car on the side. Uh, this is sort of like a mini van. I'm not quite sure, but I'm just going to paint that in like so. And again, I'm going to use just neutral tin and go underneath here. Go dark. Let's go dark here. Okay. And a little bit of dark here. And again, some reflections here, okay? Sharp reflection of the building and stuff around it. And give it a little bit of All right, same thing here. Let's give it a little bit of tail light here. I think I'll keep this side a little bit lighter, excuse me. So I'm just going to do this. I'll keep this wheel here and uh, I will Pretty much just clean water, sort of soften this edge right here. I'll we'll give it a little bit of windshields on the side, and I'll actually merge that to the car in the front, starting to connect the shape a little bit more. So, like overall, it's just going to be a little bit more feels a little bit more connected with so all the shapes in the back here. So maybe there's another car here, something here. I'm just trying not to panicking. The water is running all over the place. And I'm tr desperately trying to make sense out of this, out of this whole mess right here and see 
if I can spot any shape that I can actually use and make it into a nice looking painting. I'm trying, I'm trying really hard. So, while well, you can say that I'm making it look easy. I assure you it's not. I am struggling right now, just like a lot of other people. I can't say everybody struggle with this, but I definitely struggle with every single painting that I do. It's because like, because it's watercolor, you can, there's always that sense of uncertainty when you are doing something. You don't know how is it going to turn out. And at one hand, you want to keep that because that's what watercolor is, right? It's what watercolor is, is, is good is good for. To let things go loose, let things run wild, and just to have that interesting thing going on. But at the same time, it's also a very scary thing as well because you just don't know if it's going to turn out the way you want. And sometimes it doesn't. And even if it doesn't, sometimes it still end up looking good. And you end up with an interesting painting that even out of your own expectation. But sometimes it just doesn't work out at all. Like either, either you just not estimating things right, you're not predicting things the way it should be, so. Anyways, I'm starting to rambling. But hopefully this one will work out nicely. Again, this I'm trying to tell myself this is just a sketch. Don't overwork this like any of these. Okay, the bead is gathered a little bit too much. I'm going to Try to pick it up a little bit with paper towel here. Okay. Okay. Oops, spray a little bit too much here. light reflection here and I think I will do the same thing right now for the taxi as well so probably somewhere around here see it's actually very hard to get to the same lightness of like the intensity you see on the photo just simply because that is the the paint is, is not emitting light so I actually need to make this really dark for is for this to pop it pops a little bit because I actually add a little bit of white wash so it just makes this looks a little bit brighter but yeah it's definitely not it's definitely not that easy to to really get that get that brightness there. Okay, so I'm gonna just just add a few hints of detail in the dark here and there. Okay, how are we looking? Seeing the painting as it is, is, is actually, I seeing the painting as is, is actually looking pretty decent for what it is. 
Just a crazy random sketch. I think I'm almost hitting an hour, which is still taking more time than than I should. Okay. Okay. Now the upper part is pretty much dry. I am going to. I will be just painting the signals here. And drop that line down and uh, some of the street light here. A little hints of stuff in the distance, and, uh, but yeah. But this stage is really just starting to add a few things here and there, and uh, hopefully the whole thing is going to look more sophisticated. But in terms of the whole painting. This is pretty much it. There's not a lot of things I can do at this point to to really change the whole painting. And I think for what it is, it's actually looking pretty decent. I definitely get I definitely did get the feeling that I wanted to, which is just like a nice steps and that yellow cab with that tall buildings around. Okay, and uh, let me see here. I'm just gonna try to make this yellow a little bit deeper, a little bit warmer, and a little bit deeper. Using a damp brush and try to soften that. Okay, some more red here. And uh, put a little red back here. think this will do okay still not too late so I'm gonna do the directional line here to just break that surface a little bit so Title this yellow cap. Yeah, maybe probably should. I think all that is left at this stage is just to give it some really dark punches like this. Okay, and then uh, no, I think by Put in that end, you start just to get some more dimension for the for the street scenery for the for the street. You feel a lot more depth here. I actually kinda like this sort of scratchy effect by by the flat brush here. I don't really use flat brush that much, but this is actually giving an interesting effect here. I, I kinda like it. One of the pleasant surprise I get here by trying new things once in a while. Oops. And uh, I do think I can maybe hint 
a little bit of detail here. Really not that much though, like just, just a tiny bit of something here. And I don't want to do it everywhere. So just a little bit will do. And uh, what else is what else is there left to do? So, in like round brush is still easier to control for me just because the the flexibility that I have. But I think flat brush does give some a little bit of a unique texture here that I also really like. So I think like from now on I'll try to use both. And here, bring this down a little bit and get a little hints of. Tell light here and there, one here. Okay, so you see me going crazy when I'm just starting to do this, and now I'm slowing down a lot, just trying to figure out if there is anything that I should be adding. And again, when I'm asking myself that question, that pretty much means that the painting is done, that I shouldn't be doing too much. It's time to wrap it up. Okay, so... I feel like something's kind of missing here, but I don't think it's the detail though. I'm actually, I think I'm going to try to, yeah, I'm going to try to see if I, I'm making decisions here right now, maybe I should try to, like, give it the same thing, give it like a, some huge dark block of values here to, to really anchor this part down. Okay, this is this dark is at an awkward precision. It's trying to go down, but down here is all dry. So I probably need to do something to kind of continue that for it. Here, I think this will do. All right, I'm, I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it a day. I think this is pretty much it. It's as much as I can I can do and I think I'm still running a little bit too long, so I apologize for that. I actually need to make this part a little bit darker as well. And I actually like a little bit of that red tone here in the photo. I'm also going to add that in. this darker just to and some hints of reflection here there we go yep I think this is good this is good to go 
kind of a little fun painting and does relieve me from the urge of wanting to paint something today. So nothing spectacular, but it is a little fun painting and I enjoyed it quite a bit because I've also been painting portraits since I came back and when I'm painting portrait is a, a very different experience. I, I need to be a lot more careful with, with the head and with all the features and things like that. So this is sort of like a nice relief actually. So I'm, I really appreciate that. Um, add a little bit of highlight back for the car here. There we go. Maybe a little bit of highlight back here. Okay. Yeah, nice way to end. Not sure if the best way to end, but it's definitely fun to do a little painting before before I leave. Okay. I think I actually need to paint the rear view mirror, but this being so wet right now, I'm probably not going to do it. I'll do it after the live stream. So thank you guys so much. And uh, I'll probably do some minor touch up while I end this. And I hope you guys have a wonderful new year. And I'll definitely see you guys back uh, very, very soon. So thank you guys. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.